Someone recently asked me about how victims enable their own abuse by staying. The statement itself is problematic because it places the blame on the victim for their abuse rather than on the abuser. It implies that the victim has control over the abuse and is choosing to allow it to continue when in reality it's the abuser that holds the power and control in the relationship. This statement fails to take into account the complex dynamics of abusive relationships. Now, narcissistic abuse specifically, it's incredibly insidious. There's a level of deception involved that is really difficult to explain unless you've experienced it. Many victims don't even realize that what they're experiencing is abuse. Narcissists do a particularly good job of convincing their victims that they themselves are the problem. Victims of abuse may stay for a variety of reasons, including not realizing that it's abuse, but also fear, financial dependence, children, isolation, lack of resources, support. They may also have been manipulated and coerced by their abuser, which makes leaving even more difficult. The statement completely ignores the fact that leaving an abusive relationship can be dangerous and complicated. It may require the victim to uproot their entire life, including their home, their job, their support system. And then they get to navigate the legal system, which is a failure to obtain a restraining order or custody of the children. This is often not an easy or safe option for victims. They may need assistance and support to leave safely. So blaming victims for their abuse is not only completely incorrect, but it's harmful. Instead, we should focus on holding abusers accountable for their actions and provide support and resources to victims who are seeking to leave these abusive relationships. My name is Lisa, and I help victims of abuse recognize that they're being abused and exit these relationships. I do this in my one-on-one -on -one coaching and in my Trauma Bond Recovery course and journal series.